Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Italy versus Germany. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the Italy starting 11. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer gets the nod in goal. Leroy Zane plays with Serge Gnabry on the flanks. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Timo Werner. They kick off here. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Werner. Oh, that is a superb save. Joshua Kimmich with the corner. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Error from the keeper. Will they seize on it? Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Werner. Well cleared away. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. And options in the centre. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. A corner from Kimmich. Well, he'd love to have that header back. In fairness, he was being closely watched. Kimmich. Oh, tremendous vision. Well, let's see about the cross. Well, he has a flair for the dramatic. Let's give him high marks for that. Yeah, it's always the risk. You can end up looking a bit silly if it doesn't come off. He's having a quick chuckle to himself. He knows that wasn't a good effort. He's found a pocket of space. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Effort. Well, fantastic 
fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Well, a short corner here. And pulled back. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Extremely sloppy in possession. Locatelli. Bonucci. Excellent passing. Options in the centre. And a very good challenge. Well read to win possession back. Oh, good vision. Not going to get away with that because it's offside here. And he shouldn't be offside there. He's gone too early. And that's a waste of a great opportunity. Sané. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Politano. Barella. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Offside, a tight one. Did look on for them, but not to be. No danger here as he runs at them. Benossi. Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. No mistake by the keeper. Successfully cut out. Sandro Tonali. Possession one. Serge Gnabry. Cuts in from the flank. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Barella. Now here's Biragi. Not a particularly strong challenge. It's an obvious offside. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Locatelli. Well, he's allowed his opponent to get past him. Getting in there to take it away. Getting forward. Tremendous ball played through. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And a goal! 1-0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Sandro Tonali. Well, Italy have certainly tried to control the flow of the game, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. Well, maybe the equaliser. They just couldn't stay in front. And now 
this match is all square. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Good move in the making from Germany. Barella. Locatelli with it. Velossi. Locatelli. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. No let up in the pressing department. Barella. Disappointing pass. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Locatelli. Oh, a nice looking pass. Keeper did his job to begin with. That is that for the first half here. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Cristiano Biraghi. Here's Bonucci. Now will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Politano. Another chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. And he's fired over the corner. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Failed to keep hold of it. This looks interesting. Benotti. And space for the cross. Teammate available. They could nudge in front. Well, only just wide of the post. Leroy Zane. Sane. The referee is given a corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. And he's clear his lines. Not the best challenge. Free kick. Substitution time it is. Velocity. Barella and using his strength to shield the ball Sandro Tonali excellent passing well he's beaten his man comprehensively not quite the clearance they were hoping for on a time for composure on the ball bodies forward and the break looks on well it looked highly promising but it came to nothing in the end And a good-looking pass. Well, they couldn't do anything positive with the cross. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And time for the change now. Mm -hmm. 
Playing it in. Well, it has come to nothing. Biragi. And let's give credit to the defending. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And after the cross, a tremendous block. In behind for him to chase. A lovely first touch. That wasn't easy. Velocity. Lovely ball over the top. Well, here we can see it again, and it starts with the ball over the top, perfectly weighted. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Müller. Locatelli with it. Pellegrini. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. This is looking threatening. Cristiano Biraghi. Barella. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. So back underway. 3-1 the score. 20 minutes to go in this one. Gundogan. Now he must favour the cross. Well, the ball lost here. Well, those stats don't surprise me. Italy have certainly had more of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Werner. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, here's the replay, and just watch this. It's clever, it's skillful, and it's effective. That's a great goal. Well, Germany's still trailing here, but this game very much alive as a contest again. Locatelli, plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Delivering it into the box. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. Sané. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. Can he play it in? Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Well, not much time left now, and these supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. What an atmosphere. Oh, he's given us away. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. 
splendid defending and it needed to be this could finish it and able to get a body in the way this might be ideal for the counter he's in here oh it's mischievous oh a goal that levels it in the closing phase of this game Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and the chip requires such good technique. That's a brilliant bit of skill. What a goal. And they will make the change now. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Pellegrini. Still pushing for what could be a winner. Locatelli. And he got to it fairly easily. Terrific pass. Can he keep his composure? Oh, it's astonishing! One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out? Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. Well, how about this? 4-3. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Leroy Zane, I think, will be happy with the way he contributed. Sum up his performance for us. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.